going on guys? Cali Cowboy here coming at you with another video. This video is going to be the NFL predictions, my NFL predictions for this season, 2014 season. Um, you know the season is just upon us right now. It's uh, coming up next week. Uh, next, uh, This Thursday actually, this week. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready for football finally. <laughs> finally the preseason is done. Uh, I didn't get to do the recap for the Broncos Cowboys fourth preseason game. I didn't really think it was necessary. It was a blowout, <laughs> and we had all of our backups out, uh, as well as the Broncos, so didn't really need to recap that one. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, but what this video is going to be for is my predictions. I'm going to let you guys in on my opinion. It doesn't matter, you know, what you think. I'm just going to say it. You can comment below if you want to say something about it, too. So, All right, let's get into it. Uh, AFC East, I'll start off with the AFC. I have the Patriots, Dolphins, Jets, and Bills. And, you know, Tom Brady, Patriots, their defense got better. Uh, you know, I think they're just the top of that, that division. Uh, I think the Dolphins are going to be right there in it, just like they were last year. You know, their defense is solid, and they, I believe they improved their line a little bit, and they added no Sean Moreno. So that's going to help them out definitely. They're probably going to be about the same place. Might, maybe a wild card, maybe not. Mo most likely not. not. Uh, Jets, you know, they added Michael Vick. Uh, don't think that's unless he uh, Geno Smith gets injured. Don't think that's going to make much of a difference. Chris Johnson will be helpful for them, but they, you know their defense is hurting. They, they're losing a lot of secondary players, so you know their defense is key for that team and with Rex Ryan and whatnot. So I think you know they're not going to make playoffs. You know they're going to be third place. And last Bills, Bills are a mess. They're losing. Uh, they lost their linebacker Puz Lesney. Uh, they do have Sammy Watkins, but, you know, he's getting injured a lot. And E.J. Manuel is not the answer at QB, in my opinion. And, you know, uh, C.J. Spiller gets injured, you know, and, and they're, they're you know, they could be better, you know, but I think they'll they'll be last. And they're still a work in progress. They're going to be drafting a QB next, uh, next year in the draft. <laughs> All right, uh, AFC North, I have it uh, Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, Browns. And, you know, the Bengals have been making playoffs lately. Um, Andy Elton just got a new contract. I'm pretty sure he's going to be, you know, pretty pissed off. He hasn't made, you know, won a playoff game, but they've been making the playoffs so many times. And uh, I finally think he'll win his, his first playoff game this year. They have a great, great defense. All they need to do is just, you know, capitalize in the playoffs, like, you know, win a game. <laughs> and so I think they'll get that done. They'll be the division leader. Uh, the Ravens are right there. They're, they're growing still. They're getting uh, their defense together. Joe Flacco, uh, Ray Rice, they're always going to be in it. They might be first place as well. You never know. But I think the Bengals are a little better. Um, the Steelers, you know, the Steelers are kind of retooling on their defense. You know, they, they're going from the transition of old defensive players to younger ones. They're still in that transition mode, and I think, uh, you know, they're not going to be good enough. They're going to be third place in that division. Um, and last, the Browns. The Browns are going to be really good this year, I think. But they're last because, you know, they have this quarterback controversy, Manziel versus Hoyer. I think it's just going to mess with their offense. They're not going to be really in sync the whole season, really. If they commit it to just like Manziel or Hoyer, you know, I think they'll be really good. But you know, you, you can't just you know, you have to have some chemistry, some some uh, some offensive flow. So if they stick with one person, they'll be better. They'll be like third or second because their defense is nasty and. Uh, you know, they got Joe Hayden, they got that rookie corner, they got a tough defensive line and linebackers. Their defense is nice, but, you know, they're in the division. It's a tough division, too, you know, the AFC North. So, um, you know, I'm looking for, look out look out for the Browns. They might make playoffs, maybe wild card, you never know. And uh, AFC South, I have the Colts, Jags, Texans, and Titans. And, uh, you know, Colts, Andrew Luck, and their defense is good. I think they're going to be on top of that division. And uh, Jaguars, surprise pick of my second place of that division. You know, I think the Jaguars really improved their defense. You know, they got a great quarterback. I like that rookie quarterback. Um, the Bortles, yeah, Bortles looking nice. And uh, you know, they 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 just keep improving. They're not going to be the sorriest team in the NFL no more. They're going to be they're going to be better in a couple years. And I think they'll surprise people by coming in second place in that division. Um, Texans, Texans third. I think they're going to get better with Jadavian Clowney. You know, they went 1-14 last year. I think there's nowhere to go but up. And I think, you know, they, they improved their defense a lot just by that one, you know, by that first pick in the draft. And uh, 
you know, their offense still is wishy-washy. You know, they don't really have a quarterback. Ryan Fitzpatrick is okay. Uh, they're going to be fighting for that last place with the Titans, and the Titans are going to come in last. Uh, I could be wrong on that. They might be third. They probably will be, but I'll think, I think the te Texans will beat them out for third uh, for last place. So that's the AFC uh, South. AFC West, I saved this for the Charger fans watching. <laughs> and uh, I have it Broncos on top. Of course, Peyton Banning. I think they're going to go back to the Super Bowl this year. Uh, Chargers in second place. I think the Chargers are really solid. They have already had a great offense. Now they're just getting players back. Uh, and their defense got some players too. So I just think the Chargers are going to surprise people. I think they're going to be really nice this year. And we'll watch out. Uh, Chiefs and Raiders in third and fourth. Uh, Chiefs are really good. Uh, I don't like Andrew, Alex Smith. He signed a contract extension too, like 100 million or something like that. Uh, their defense is nice. Jamal Charles is nice. They're going to be competing. That's a tough division. That's one of the toughest divisions in football. So, you know, you can't really predict how that one's going to fold out. I think the Chiefs will finish third. And Raiders are another good team that's improved, and they're going to be fighting for third or fourth. So that's how I, I see the AFC West. And now transition to the NFC the best uh, conference really uh, I have the NFC North Packers Lions Bears Vikings and you know I think the Packers are gonna be my Super Bowl pick Aaron Rodgers didn't have a full season last year has a full season and a full season he, they're good to go to the Super Bowl really um, and you know their offense is straight their defense is really nice too. Clay Matthews stay healthy and um, yeah, their first place. Uh, Lions, they might make a wild card, maybe not. You know, last year they were they almost made the wild card, but then they they failed. I think they were ten and six last year, and they still didn't make playoffs or something like that. So, you know, they got Megatron, Stafford. They got, got a cool, uh, good defense. So I think they're good enough to make playoffs. You know, and uh, Bears and Vikings third and fourth. Uh, Bears are really good and uh, really improved too. Uh, I think they'll they'll push for the playoff spot. Brandon Marshall, Jay Cutler, Matt Forte, really nice offense. But that defense is still uh, something, you know, something uh, that needs to improve as well. Even though they they got that, that uh, first round corner, which which should help them. And uh, lastly, I have the Vikings. Vikings, you know, they need a quarterback, and it might be Bridgewater, might be Castle. I don't think it's Castle. I think it might be Bridgewater. Bridgewater's nice. Uh, but you know, anytime you have Peterson, you're always a a threat. But and their defense is nice too. But I don't think they have enough on offense. And Cordell Patterson is going to be nice, too. Watch out for that fantasy. <laughs> All right, that's uh, it. NFC North, NFC South, um, Saints. Saints, that, that's like the number one offense almost. Drew Brees and whatnot. Um, second, I have the Falcons, then Bucks, then Panthers. Uh, Falcons getting uh, Julio Jones back is going to be really nice to their confidence because last year they stunk after he got injured. Uh, their defense really needs to be more improved, so, you know, I think their offense will carry them. They'll still make second place in that division. Uh, Buccaneers third. Uh, I like the Bucks. They're getting Levy Smith for that defense. He's going to really help that defense, which is already really nice. But, you know, Joshua McCown, I don't know if he's the answer at quarterback. But they do have a, a two stud receivers, Mike Evans and Vincent Jackson. That's that's really nice for their offense. And Doug Martin. And they improved their offensive line from uh, Logan Mankins, the guard from New England. So I think their run game is going to be pretty nice, too. So... They're going to be on the on the cups of the playoffs. I might switch Bucks with Falcons, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch that. That's B Bucks are going to be in second place. Uh, Falcons defense is not nice enough for that division, especially the Saints. <laughs> uh, and Panthers last. Uh, Cam Newton lost a whole bunch this offseason. Uh, his receivers, he's got injured, cracked ribs. Defense is nice. The offense needs to carry it, and you know they'll be in the hunt too. Depends on how they do. You know, how, how, depends on that rookie wide receiver, Kelvin Benjamin, how he does, and I think he'll be nice. So you know, just wait and see for that one. But until then, they're last place in that division. And uh, NFC West, the toughest one in the, you know, toughest division in the NFC, I think defensively. You know, I got the Seahawks. I don't see them making it back to the Super Bowl because you know. I just think the Packers are going to be, you know, offensively better than them, you know. And the NFC has, like, way better competition than the AFC. You know, the Broncos got blown out by the Seahawks because they weren't used to 
the Broncos weren't used to that style of, you know, aggression, aggressive play in the NFC. I think the NFC is just another animal when it comes to football, in my opinion. You know, but, uh, and the Seahawks, I don't see them going back. They lost a lot of people on their defense, still have their offense. Marshawn Lynch, you know, he might get banged up. He has had a lot of carries over the past two seasons. I think he'll break down. Christian Michael will step up for him, but that won't be enough. And their defense is still going to be, you know, top three defense. But, you know, people are going to start figuring them out. And, you know, these new penalty rules might set them back. So, you know, I, I don't think they're going to repeat. And uh, second, I have the Cardinals. Cardinals improved their defense with Cromartie. They lost the, their uh, linebacker, Gerald Washington, who was nice. So that hurts them. And Darnell Dockett. But I still think they're really nice with Patrick Peterson. Their secondary is really good. And... Um, you know, Larry Fitzgerald, Michael Floyd on offense, Carson Palmer, Andre Ellington. They're going to be a really nice pick in the in the uh, second place pick in the NFC West. Uh, then 49ers and Rams. So that just rounds out the bottom of that. Uh, 49ers, uh, their defense has taken a lot of hits, a lot of injuries. Uh, you know, the second half of the season, they'll probably get everyone back, and then they'll start rolling for the playoffs. So they'll probably be, most likely make playoffs wild card or, you know, uh, competing for that first spot with uh, Seattle, but I still think Seattle's going to make playoffs with the first place to end the division. And last is Rams. You know, Sam Bradford, they just need a new quarterback now. You know, he's been getting injured for the season for the past, you know, whatever, two seasons or whatever. And, you know, it's time to move on for them. Even though they paid him a lot, they paid him a lot of money. So that really sucks for the Rams. They have a nice defense, too. That sucks. But, you know, every, anytime you lose your top quarterback that you think is going to play, it really hurts you. So, you know, they're going to finish last. And finally, I got the NFC East. I saved the best for last. Uh, you know, I'm kind of a homer, Cowboys homer, obviously. But, you know, I, I honestly think the Cowboys are going to finish first. You know, Cowboys finishing first. I have them. Uh, then Eagles, Redskins, and Giants. And, you know... Cowboys are on the cusp. They've been eight and eight, eight and eight for the past, you know, three seasons. I think it's about time we break out. We get into the playoffs. We make a run. I'm not saying Super Bowl. I'm saying we're gonna win a playoff game. And uh, you know, our defense is not the greatest defense. Obviously, it's the, it was the last ranked defense last year. But I think we got people coming in. Rolando McLean. We've got veterans on the D linemen, and we got, you know, we have Skandrick out the first four games, but then, you know, Skandrick's a big piece for that after that. And I believe that we're going to be, you know, solid on defense. We'll hold our own, and our offense is just improved this year. I love our offensive line. I love DeMarco Murray, Des Bryant, Terrence William, Dwayne Harris, Cole Beasley, Jason Witten. You know, on paper, we are, everyone knows the Cowboys are really good on offense, but it really matters on defense and special teams and coaching. Like, the problem with us is play calling and decisions when it counts the most. Like, sometimes it'll be Romo calling a bad play. Sometimes it'll be Jason Garrett calling a bad play. Or, you know, the offensive co coordinator, or, you know. And we got Scott Linehan this year. I really like that. So, you know, I really think we're going to be much improved. Everyone's, you know, hating on us. Don't think we're, we're probably going to finish last. But I think we're finishing first. So, you know, second I got the Eagles. You know, the Eagles got a really nice offense. Um... The whole NFC East defense defense is like not really good, so you know it's it's gonna it's an offensive offensive division. So you know I got Eagles, Redskins, and then Giants. Giants suck. That's all I gotta say about that. And and I uh, got Redskins RG three, and you know they got Deshaun Jackson. That's cool. Their defense is okay, but whatever. I think they'll finish third. Uh, Cowboys first, Eagles second, Giants fourth. So that pretty much wraps it up. That was my NFL prediction for the 2014 season. Uh, you can come back, look at it at the end of the season, see if I was right, see if I was wrong, whatever. Just uh, putting it out there. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you want to leave a comment below, leave one below. I have a link in the description. Go ahead and click that. And uh, like and subscribe for my, my new upcoming videos this season. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a